So here's what my scrubber looks like. I've attached a wheel and put my scrubber on it, connected it to my DC motor and I have my IR sensor. I've also put a wheel at the back to help me grip it better. I've connected all this to my motherboard and here's the app that we built. I'm going to... I've already connected the app to my motherboard. So as you can see, every time I face it towards the surface, the IR sensor detects the surface and the motor is switched on. There you go. This is how you can build your own scrubber. Okay, so let's move on to how to connect everything together. Take your motherboard and your IR sensor, connect them together using the wire that you picked. I'm going to use port number 1 on the motherboard. Once you've connected the IR sensor, connect the motor to any one of the ports M1 or M2. I'm going to use port M1. You can also take the wheel on which you might want to attach your scrubber and fix it onto the motor. There you go. You're done connecting. Now let's go ahead and build an app to control the scrubber. Once you've done that, the first thing to do is add a motor from the Cutie Pie Mega Blocks panel. Make sure you assign it a port. I'm going to give it port number 1 and Bluetooth connectivity. The next thing to add is the IR sensor from the same Cutie Pie Mega Blocks panel. Again, I'm going to give it port 1 and Bluetooth connectivity. Don't forget to add a notifier. Once you've done this, you're done designing your app. Let's move on to programming. The first thing to do is pick out the Bluetooth connectivity blocks from the backpack. So here I have my after picking and before picking blocks. Once you've done this, it's now time to program the IR sensor and the motors. Pick out the on change event of your IR sensor. Then pick out the if then else block. Use the procedure get IR value to check if the value of the IR is true. If it is true, that means the scrubber is faced towards the surface. Every time the value holds true, we want to rotate the motor. For that, pick out the rotate speed and direction procedure and give a speed of 255 and a direction of true. If it is not true, we need to stop the motor. For that, pick out the same procedure and give a speed of 0 with a direction of true or false. This will be a part of the else block. Once you've done this, you're done programming. Save and build your app and get started.